G'day guys, Morzy here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm showing off my newest creation, which is the Search System. And that stands for Storage, Item Retrieval, and Categorized Holding System. This is a new type of storage system that I've been working on for quite some time, and I'm very proud to show it off to you today. Okay, so this is a pretty smart system. Uh, it uses shocker boxes and lists of items to work out what you want and where it is, and then return it to you. And I'll give you a demonstration of how it works. So I'm gonna do two demonstrations here. One is searching for the first item in the list, and the second is searching for the last item in the list, just to give you an idea on how long each uh, item takes. So the first thing we do is step up to our base search box here, and if we open it, and we see all of our categories and let's say I want tools so I'll hit Q on my keyboard and throw the tools icon out once it works out which item we've selected it will return another menu or a sub menu that will hold all my different types of tools as you can see and let's say I want diamond pickaxes I'll hit that one and it will go away find the box that contains all my diamond pickaxes and spit that out in front of me here we go So we're in tools, diamond picks, and here's all of our diamond picks. And if we want to close that, we just end the search and it will reset the system, bring back our base search box, and we can try the next item. And here we go. Now this system can hold up to 1.2 million items and it allows you to search through all those items fairly quickly. Uh, it's probably going to be quicker or slash easier than uh, going to look through the, the chests yourself. It'll take a long time to remember where everything is. So let's try the last option and here we go. So let's go bulk storage 3. We'll throw that out. This is for all the items that I have way too many of and we'll see in a second. It will throw out another sub menu and I can pick through all the items that I have in bulk storage. Here we go. Here's the chest, so this is bulk storage 3, and I've got all these items here in bulk storage, including all this cobble, and let's go to cobblestone 9, so that is the last entry in the list, and it's working now to try and find cobblestone 9 and bring it up for me, and here we go, it will be very shortly, making some noise, and it's going to pop up here in a second, there's the chime, and here it is. This is box storage 3, cobble 9, and here's all the extra cobblestone that I have. And that's basically how it works. Alright, let's take a look at some of the parts that make up this system. So here we see the storage cells, and each storage cell is one wide tileable, and takes up to 27 shulker boxes that you can have, obviously, full of items and it uses pulse lengths to determine which item you're looking for and dispenses them correctly. It saves the position of the chest that it's just given you and when it returns it goes back into the same order. So we've got uh, two sides, so this side has 14 chests and this side has 14 chests, each with 27 shulker boxes in them. Now 14 and 14 is 28 which means that this last one, this 28th cell, is actually not accessible through the chest lookup system. But it keeps it symmetrical and I'm sure there's quite an easy way to, to get it included in the system anyway. So, uh, next part that we will look at is the main real brain of the system. So this part right here basically takes care of checking which item you've selected counting how far down the list it is and sending an output to the storage system that is the equivalent. What it does is it will use a placeholder item which is this guy here to determine which item in the list you've selected and then it uses the pulse length of that search to pop up one of these red bits of concrete here and depending on which bit of concrete is popped up it uh, reflects which of the storage cells gets the next signal. So if we take a look here, 
let's go back to our storage search box and I'll hit the first one which is tools you can see the little working pane of glass pops in and it selects from a menu the first option that we want which is this guy and this has all the items in it now if we go down below we can actually see that it has gone through and popped up the first block here which means it's going searching through this first storage cell and then what we do is if we pick out let's try something random here let's go for uh, diamond hose so that's the fourth item in the list and this machine here I won't open it because it's a trap chest you can hear it will put these items back in and the fourth item is removed now that box is probably going to be empty or full of random stuff yeah it's empty so we'll have to actually get rid of it so what I'll do is I'll just chuck a random item in that'll get rid of the box and as you can see here the minecart will come around and drop it off into this hopper which is the only one that's unlocked and it returns back into its original place there's the redstone torch that I left in it and if we go back down here this is all reset as well and it's ready for the next next search so some other little additions here that we've got uh, there's a little button here which lets us access the chest and make sure this is all full because if you run out of these items you will actually crash the machine um, there is the option to dig this out if you accidentally threw a shocker box in here it won't go past this line right here uh, I've also added a manual reset button here and here and what that would do is if there was any kind of problem with these being stuck uh, in the up position like that you could hit the button and manually reset so that's manually reset it's probably not a good idea to do that unless you know you can certainly reset it without any other problems um, and over here as well I also just put in a little bit of a mechanism so that we could create an area to check the wiring and other things later on down the track um, so let's go back out here that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think any feedback or suggestions I think there's still more room to move with this thing uh, I have thought about some ideas of automatic sorting as well using this same system uh, that's probably a little bit more in-depth than the retrieval side of things but I guess if you did want to sort your items you could still do it um, using the search function you would just search the items that you wanted to store bring up that chest and then put those items in there alternatively I guess you can go in here and if you know by now which chest holds which items you could even put you know a sign there or something like that you could pull open a chest grab the first shulker box out and put your items into it and then return in so that's a possibility as well definitely a lot more things that could be done with this system but other than that I really wanted to show you guys what I've been up to uh, as you can see it's taken me quite a few iterations to get to this point this is the culmination of quite a bit of work uh, actually I also wanted to mention the initial idea for this came from uh, one of Etho's episodes a while back I can't remember the episode number but it was a very long time ago he talked about um, something similar having a menu that you could select items from and I think that might have been something to do with how he set up his Nexus build but I took that idea and worked on it and came up with this um, indexed sort of system and I think it's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool design anyway let me know what you guys think uh, let me know if there's anything that you think I can improve on or uh, anything like that and uh, yeah we'll see you around next time